Hello, welcome to the Multi-Scan Function video tutorial, a new update of the automatic mode. Before you start using the Multi-Scan function, I always recommend that you carefully examine the entire environment to be scanned for optimal device placements in subsequent scans, considering the following placement criteria. You must keep between the current scan and its previous one at least 60% of the points in common. Anchor points should be placed at a close distance on regular, non-reflective surfaces and as perpendicular as possible to the device. After examining the environment, you can start with the scan. Once you have finished the scan, you can have a preview of the result to interact with. Press the Scan Plus key to start the multi-scan function. Making sure not to touch the device, use the motion buttons on the app to rotate it and set the reference anchor point. With a target marker, such as a piece of tape, you can mark its position on the surface. Clicking on Action, the device will record it along with a series of additional anchor points to the left and right. But be careful, once accepted, the anchor point can no longer be changed. By pressing the play button, you can check the acquired anchor point and proceed by moving the device to the new point. Please remember the placement criteria when moving. I adopted this position because it provides at least 60% points in common with the previous scan. Let's move the device and click Proceed. The red laser will appear, with which you will have to manually realign the target. Remember, too, that the device must always be put on the bubble with each scan. Now let's click Proceed one more time and run the new scan. After running the scan, you can choose to accept or cancel it and run the scan again. If you choose to cancel it, you can repeat it by also moving the position with the device. If you accept it, you can continue with the detection path using now the same anchor point taken previously. Let's click on Action and record the position, then press the play button to continue and move position. After you have moved the device, let's click Proceed and manually realign to the target. Again, let's click on Proceed and let's get the scan started. Confirm the scan and proceed by setting a new anchor point. To place the new anchor point, please remember the previous path and place the target on a flat, non-reflective surface and close to the device and as perpendicular as possible to it. Choose the new location, keeping a good amount of points in common with the previous scan. After you have fixed the third anchor point and accepted all pop-ups, you can then move the device. With the red laser on, manually rotate the head of the device to realign it with the target. Then click on Proceed to scan. You can now accept the scan and continue with the path of measurements by repeating the same process just described for all the environments that need to be scanned. Here ends the Meter Multiscan tutorial. Interested in finding out the other features of the meter? Check out the other tutorials or download the guides from our website. Thanks for your attention and see you next video.